Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Roush Fascia Corner Pockets for 2018 and newer GT and EcoBoost Mustangs. So these are your Roush Corner Pockets right here. They sit right in the front fascia underneath your factory turn signal and fog lights. The Roush Corner Pockets make for a pretty big change in the front end of the 2018 Mustang. They have a factory-like fit and finish, and by that I mean they fit nicely in the front end of the 2018. And they're made from a TPO material, which is durable, but lightweight and strong all at the same time. These have a finish that's also going to match your other factory trim pieces, so you're looking at a matte black grainy type of texture. These things also pair really nicely with other Roush parts. As you can see, we have some other Roush parts installed on the front end of this car. They cost about $260, and as far as the install goes, I'll call it a two out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. You are looking at pulling the front fascia, and you are looking at having to do some drilling as well as some modification. With that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to get these installed. All right guys, since we are installing the lower grille paired with the chin spoiler and a wheel shroud kit, we're gonna go ahead and remove both front wheels first as our first step. Alright guys, the next step is going to be to remove some of the push pins that are in our wheel liner here. So we're going to go ahead and use a pry tool and remove some of the push pins. There are eight push pins on our rad cover that we're going to take out now. All right, after those are removed, we can go ahead and lift this off. There are six 8mm bolts in the top of the bumper here. We'll go ahead and undo those. And then at the end, there are two 732nd small bolts at the very edges. And we'll go ahead and undo those too. Alright guys, there are two 10 millimeter nuts in that we're going to undo next that are holding the bumper in place. They're separated by a Christmas tree. There are a couple different ways that you can get to them. You can get to them through the wheel well or you can go through the top in between the frame like I'm doing now. It's really going to be up to you. So we'll remove the nuts for now and we'll leave the Christmas tree clips clipped in until we go underneath the car and remove our splash shield. All right guys, now we're gonna remove the splash shield from underneath the car. There are two push pins, we'll grab those first and then you have a couple seven millimeter bolts to get as well.
All right, now we're gonna disconnect our turn signal. So we'll go ahead and find our electrical connection. There's a tab on the top, push down on the tab and disconnect. We'll do the same thing for both sides. All right, so after you get your front fascia removed, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the fog lights. There are three seven millimeter bolts holding those in place. Okay guys, so once you remove the fog lights, the next thing you'll do is cut out your templates. With the templates cut out, you'll insert them here into the pocket, then you'll mark the drilling hole with the center punch on both sides. These are side specific, so just make sure you have the correct side. Once you have your spot marked, you'll take an eighth inch drill bit and you'll drill a pilot hole followed by a quarter inch hole. So we'll go ahead, drill our pilot hole now. All right, so we're gonna switch back to our eighth inch drill bit and drill 15 holes here. All right guys, so now we're milling out the material between each of the five holes that we just drilled. All right, so with the next template in place, we are going to start with an eighth inch pilot hole followed by a three eighths inch drill bit. So the corner pocket's installed with both 3M tape and hardware. So at this point, we're ready to get our 3M tape on the back of the corner pocket. It's gonna lay down along the bottom like this. At this point, you're only peeling off the white backing on the 3M tape. You're not peeling off the red backing yet. We'll make sure we'll press firmly into place so that the 3M tape can adhere. You're also gonna wanna make sure that every surface that there's 3M tape is as clean as possible. You wanna make sure the 3M has a good chance to adhere properly. All right, now we're gonna put the supplied brackets on the back of our corner pocket. These are side specific, so make sure you have the correct side. So we'll just line it up. These are seven millimeter as well. All right, next you'll apply the supplied graphic that Roush gives you. And once again, like any vinyl or graphic, you're gonna wanna make sure that the surface is as clean as possible. You'll use a soap and water mixture to help you get this placed, and then maybe even a heat gun just to make sure this adheres properly. All right guys, so now we're gonna take our corner pocket, get it set in the fascia, and then start our hardware that Roush gives us in the back of the bracket. So these three tabs on the outside are gonna go into the holes that we made in the corner of the fascia. There's a little tab on the back of the corner pocket to go into this hole that we made in the front of the fascia. Just slide it into place, and then this piece of hardware is gonna go into the hole that we made in the factory corner pocket. All right guys, now we're gonna take the provided angle washer that Roush gives us. We're gonna slide it onto this tab here. From there, we'll take the washer and then thread that in place too, and that's gonna hold the front of our corner pocket. So we're gonna slide the angle washer in place, and we need to pull this tab on the corner pocket through the angle washer.
right guys, two of the last things that we need to do before completely reinstalling our front fascia is pulling the backing off the 3M tape here and getting our fog light in place. So we're just gonna go ahead, pull the red backing off our 3M tape. And then now we're going to make sure our corner pocket is pressed firmly up against the front fascia. And then we'll grab our fog light. All right guys, now we're gonna get our front fascia back in place. Okay guys, with the front fascia hanging, our bracketry all tightened down and completely taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our fog lights and turn signals and then get the belly pan in place. All right guys, so now at this point, Joe and I are putting the eight millimeter bolts back in the top of the bumper. We'll go ahead, tighten them down, and then we'll get the two 732nd bolts in the corners too. All right, now we'll get our cover back in place with our push pins. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind, you can always check these out more online. I'm Stephanie, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.